Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all having a great day. Guys, today in this video, I'm going to be talking about a number of things, but mainly to start off, I want to talk about an announcement. Well, not quite an announcement, but it was just a post on bitcointalk.org and the owner or developer of Claymore, you guys may know, Claymore Miner, the infamous Ethereum miner, and he posted on April 5th that he will, uh, I'll read it here, I will release new version in a few days. The main update is applying memory straps slash registers without flashing cards like this. And it goes to the AMD memory tweak. I made a video about this uh, a bit ago. But the main thing was he wants to make it for Windows and with more features. So he's claiming, Claymore is claiming that he will release a version in a few days. So as of making this video, uh, April 9th, you guys will see, you will see it on April 10th. I hope that this will come out real soon. And when it does, I'm going to review it and test it out and try it. Uh, mainly, it sounds like he's going to make this for uh, video RX 5, 580s or 570s without BIOS mod. So for people, for newbies who don't like or don't know how to BIOS mod, this will probably be for you and it'll be, it'll be pretty awesome, I hope, and we'll see what kind of hash rates it gets. So yeah, that's just the, <laughs> that was the announcement uh, right away I, I wanted to talk about, guys. Uh, and then going on now for the rest of the video, guys, I'm going to talk about uh, a, few, a few things that um, some of my Discord members have been uh, expressing to me and saying, you know, Hive OS, they haven't been updating their drivers and, you know, updating uh, the requirements, uh, sorry, updating the, like, support for RX 590 and the Radeon 7. And I made a post on the Hive OS subreddit about 20 hours ago of making this video. I asked, um, hi there, just wondering when you guys will implement the RX 590 and the Radeon 7. A lot of people cannot use them on your software. Please advise. So, yeah, what spurred for me to talk, I'm going to be talking about this and a, a few other mining programs. Basically, Hive OS right now, they're, they've been having some... Uh, a lot of people are just just not happy with them because they haven't been they haven't been releasing latest AMD drivers, and they haven't been having support for like the cards like the 590 and Radeon 7. So, example the Radeon 7 support. Um, I guess the Radeon 7 did come out you know a couple months ago, and here's an example of a post someone posted. I am paying for Hive OS and have been waiting quite a while for support for the Radeon 7. I have all my other rigs on Hive and would like to get my Radeon 7 rig up and going so so I can manage all on one dashboard. Do you have the time? Do you have a time frame when you will have support for the Radeon 7? And here's another person saying, I'm also really interested in the Vega 7 support. Any news from the devs? This is about 14 days ago and this was one day ago and I have a few members on my Discord also expressing interest for the Radeon 7 to have support on Hive OS, but there hasn't been yet. As well, the RX 590, this was posted on November 18th. This was post posted last year, five, six months, uh, five months ago, and people are expressing interest in the 590. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of posts here, everyone asking, when, when can we have the 590 supported on Hive OS? So that's just one thing, guys. Um, as well as uh, next, um, I'm looking at I'm gonna be looking at all the other the other uh, Linux Linux uh, miners uh, dedicated OS miners. So simple mining, similar similar to Hive OS, but they don't have support for the Vega. Simple mining doesn't support Vega or Radeon Seven. They even say that on their website. It's currently is not supported, and. Again, on their BitcoinTalk.org, you can see people posting uh, on the forum here that any plans to add Vega support in the near future. This was posted on March 16th, 2019. And 
you know, like the Vegas have been out for how long? Have been out for a long time. So it's it's interesting. You know, there's there's probably I, I'm not saying there's like a couple thousand, hundred thousand people asking for this stuff. It's only gonna be about maybe a thousand people, maybe a hundred people. You know, there are people out there that want their Vegas or Radeon sevens on these Linux distros, uh, uh, Linux based uh, OSs. So. From for myself, I personally am okay because I've been running my Radeon Seven in Windows and uh, another program recently in Minerstat. So <laughs> I'm not shilling. I'm not. I'm not going to shill any programs or anything. But there's another mining distribution, uh, mining a dedicated mining OS called Minerstat, and they have support for the RX Vegas. 56 and 64 and they have the support for Radeon 7 which I tried myself and it's and it's awesome uh, as well as the RX 590 so and and they have the latest drivers just recently updated uh, on their OS and these guys I'm telling you the they update everything to the max like the day of like I actually tried it out and I had a issue and they I talked to them on Discord. They're super friendly on their Discord, and and uh, two hours later they fixed it for me. Two hours later, I I was I was mentioning something and they fixed it. So props to Minerstat. They update their software and it works beautifully. You guys should go check it out. I'm not gonna sign into it yet or anything. I'll I'm gonna have a review of their software later on. I just haven't had time to do it yet. Um, it's it's pretty cool. So they're uh, uh, basically a, a dedicated Linux mining OS, same, similar to Simple Mining and Hive OS, but uh, their their user interface is really cool. <clears throat> I, I I'm not I'm not discredit discrediting Simple Mining or Hive OS at all. I I really enjoy Hive OS and Simple Mining. They also have great user interface, and I've been using them for a long time. It's nothing to discredit them. It's just these these companies these guys oh I'm not sure about simple mining but I know that Hive OS they must have a huge team they're getting paid they're getting paid a, a lot of money a lot of people are on Hive OS and so I I hope that like they can they can support you know having the latest drivers and the latest uh, support for the cards and I know guys I know some of you hardcore Linux programmer guys are gonna say well, Red Panda, you can just manually update the drivers yourself on on Hive OS. Well, you know what? People like me, you know, I I, I don't have time for that. You know, I, I, I need to just restart my miner and hopefully it'll update itself. You know, that's what I want. You know, like there's going to be, there. I bet 95% of Hive OS users are not going to manually update the drivers themselves. Like... You can see there's a bunch of people asking for, you know, we need the latest support, we need the latest drivers on their forums. And it's it's not just me, it's not just me. So I know there's going to be some people out there that are able to update the drivers themselves manually. And that's good for you. No, no, that's totally good. That's totally awesome. I know that. I know that there's a manual manual way to update drivers on Hive OS and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just take, take, take that as you will, guys. I, I know, I know. So, talking about minor stat, I think you guys should go check it out. They have pretty good support, really good support, by the way, and they have support for the Radeon 7 590. Okay, next I want to talk about Kudo Miner as well. They also have support for the Radeon 7 and RX 590 and whatnot. Uh, their Kudo OS, I'm I haven't found the information if they had in, uh, the support for the Radeon 7. But I'm pretty sure they do because they have it supported on their Windows Miner. So that's another that's another company I think you guys should try out. I've been meaning to try out Kudo OS and I <laughs> I just haven't had a ch chance to try their uh, Kudo their Kudo Miner their bare metal uh, install. So similar, it's a Linux uh, Linux just a Linux OS and uh, I'm, I've been wanting to try it. But to to end off, guys, another one, another company is uh, this was a comment on my YouTube channel 
uh, one of my videos, and someone recommended uh, MMP OS. This is a mining OS, a dedicated, another dedicated mining OS, but they claim that they're not a dedicated uh, MMP, MMP OS, uh, abbreviation of Miner's Mining Platform, consists of three key elements. Base, it controls boot process, manages driver sets, and checks for system consistency. And then there's an agent. It controls miners and GPU overclocking process. And then there's a dashboard. It controls agent. So what MMP is not? It is not just another mining operating system. <laughs> okay, so they're claiming to be not an operating system like HiveOS, Symbol Mining, Minerstat. Uh, install for yourself. Uh, install and see for yourself. Um, ask if you need help. We don't bite. We made the entire dashboard easy to comprehend and use. Their supported hardware, they claim, is 4 gigabytes USB uh, flash drive or SSD or hard drive. 8 gigabyte is recommended. Recommended memory is 4 gigabyte, although it works fine with 2 gigabyte for a couple of GPUs. So uh, most of you guys will have 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so yeah, um, another thing they say they claim they have support for the Vega and 64, uh, Vega 56 and Vega 64 but uh, they don't have support yet for the Radeon 7. So take that as you will. That's another company, you know, they'll have uh, support for and have mentioned. Uh, Hive OS has not mentioned anything about having support for the Radeon 7 or RX 590. So <laughs> take that as you will, guys. But yeah, that's just the end. That's the uh, end of my video, guys. I'm just ranting, kind of just talking about the main uh, couple Windows uh, Linux distributions that don't have support for the Radeon 7 and some that do so Yeah, thanks for watching guys smack that like button. I know you guys like watching me, right? Some of you most of you But if not hit that dislike button <laughs> Click the sub subscribe button guys. I appreciate all of you who watch me every day through the thick and thin Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video let me know what you guys think, and peace out.